All right. Oh, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are finally taking our cheap boat out to the water. And before we do so, we want to go ahead and test everything, make sure all the pumps are working great. So let's start this thing up, let it run a little bit. And then if everything clears out, we're going to go straight to the lake. So everything checks out properly. The water is flowing great. So let's go ahead, take this thing to the lake and get this thing in the water. All right, so first stop, we got some fuel in this thing. Man, this thing just chugged $71. That's a lot, but that's 93. We're supposed to run 100 octane in this Yeah, thing. we need to get us some 100 octane next time around. Yeah, next time around. So let's keep on moving and hit that water. Alrighty, folks, we made it here to the water, dude. It's an exciting part and the scary part. Hopefully this thing uh, floats at least, you know what I mean? Hopefully there ain't no cracks in this thing. As you can see, there is a few little cracks that may be not too big, but fingers crossed, we do have a pump on this thing. Hopefully they don't fill up too fast. So let's back this thing up straight into the water and hopefully drive this thing down the river. So let's yeah. get it, man. I'm excited, let's do it. man check for water leaks i know right it's sketchy water is nice and calm there's not oh. too many people out here the, the current is pretty strong here this is a the dam is just up, over that way right there so yeah the current is pretty strong hopefully not too strong you know what i mean yeah hopefully it's not going to be too hard to dock this thing or put it back up on the trailer but let's go ahead and pull away and then i'm going to park this trailer you think it needs to go deeper or is that good uh, it needs to go deeper on hopefully nothing falls out of my pockets bring it in a little bit closer all right that's good Whew. sketchy all right we're gonna go out there and then check for any leaks shoot what if it's leaking right now yeah let's just at least get to the center yeah i don't want to be too close over here man dude i can't believe we're out here i know it's so sketchy i'm kind of sketched out right now oh my Running goodness pretty good Smells good too. Sketchy dude. Sketchy for real though. But yeah, let's like stop real soon. That way we can check if there's any water. Yeah, I'm about to stop up here. Near the engine bay here. All right, she's in neutral, I think. She's got a neutral gear? Yeah, she got a neutral gear. All right. Dude, looks dry. Is that a bit belt squeak here? Yeah, I hear a little, tiny little belt squeak. Not a big deal. Hopefully we don't bust the belt. Oh so, man, that would suck. What does the belt even use? That's how the engine runs? Uh, I think. I think that's how the uh, pump runs and stuff. The power steering maybe? Oh snap. I, no, it, I mean, it's not too bad. I don't hear it anymore. Yeah, super quiet, but still sketchy we definitely probably need to change that uh that belt out we need to check all the fluid the oil we did check the oil yeah didn't oil's you? good everything's good the rear main uh oil and the whatever you call it the out drive yeah something like that should be good too we'll check though if it does look milky uh we're definitely after we get out of the water yeah for right now we're just gonna send it so let's go down this river and hopefully top this thing out man i'm it's scared but <laughs> We are on the river, so if we do get stuck, we're gonna have to try to paddle somewhere to the side and just dock this thing and walk back because 
as you can see right now, we're pretty moving pretty fast. So let's get it, dude. another double check man because she is running like a dream man she's running so pretty everything so far is good all the temperatures the uh, the oil pressure everything looks really good now let's check once more let's see what's going on back here we're out here downtown Chattanooga I can't believe we made it here still no leaks I don't hear the belt anymore do you all right that side sounds good right there I want to check the water get my light out yeah get your light out a little dude. bit of water in there freaking eighteen hundred dollars dude yeah i know eighteen hundred dollars there's a little bit of water actually a little bit more than there was when we started back there really yeah so go ahead and hit this this button right here i'll see if the pump works the bilge the bilge pump i guess that's what you call it is it working probably not oh snap dude that ain't good we can't go too far we're already about a mile mile away from the dock and this river you may not you probably can't tell right now but it is moving pretty fast kind of sketchy but you know how we are we're always sending it wait i do hear it it's very quiet oh there it goes let me see it's coming out the side yo dude Woo, that scared me that was a little scare right there but we're good I mean, it's not pouring out as fast as i want it to maybe because there's not that much water in it but there was a little bit more water than what we came here with, so. Yeah, that's, that's that's a good thing. That's a good sign. At least some of it's coming out, you know what I mean? Yeah. Very silent, but I mean. May have to get a new one, yeah. a new pump. New pump or soon. Or that one needs to go further down. I don't know if it's sitting all the way down to suck it from the really bottom, but. I'm gonna check this center compartment right here. Ooh, it's a little wet in there, but it's not like full of water. We got some noodles, dang noodles for days up in there uh, we are i noticed we were leaning a little bit to that side i guess it's because uh we got a full tank of gas in this thing yeah full tank of fuel and i think the fuel cell is on this side i don't know how boats work because i can't really yeah. see under there it's kind of it really doesn't make sense they should have like somehow centered it out because it may be centered out or just this side is a lot heavier for some reason yeah that's weird the batteries on this side and everything so yeah that could be that's, that could be a huge part of it but what are you thinking I'm thinking that that pump may may have a, a few uh probably like some dirt and stuff in it because it's barely pumping you know it's going yeah. but hopefully not too much water gets in there but we should be good so let's keep on going man it's so beautiful out here and this thing running good so far running good 1800 bucks off the auction i can't believe it dude i can't so either let's keep going
That was dangerous. some sketchy stuff right there, but we doing it for you guys. I so. don't think we have any more battery. Yeah, we're dead on the battery. Uh, we're probably gonna start heading back before it gets too dark on us here. Yeah, but it's it too dark. We need to check on the water before oh, we yeah. do anything. So we haven't checked that in a while. So let's go do it. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Is it seeping in or is that from something else? It's probably from uh, something else. We re we reversed a few times in it. We reversed real hard and it would. Some water came in here. Yeah. Not a big deal though. Let me grab this strap. All right. Shut that. We're gonna go ahead and throw our lights on because I believe like after seven o'clock you gotta have your. Or lights or the sun starts going down i mean better to be safe than sorry right our front light is working let's see if the rear one works yes sir good to go let's go let's, let's start it. heading back let's get it First time docking this thing. I'm just gonna drop you off. Yeah, I'm gonna go grab the truck and the trailer. Pretty difficult docking uh, in a river, but you know what? We got it. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. It ain't the first rodeo we've been through. Nope. And it ain't the last. Oh yeah, you're good, dude. You a pro? Yeah, I'll push you off. All right, go get that boat. Go get that trailer. <laughs> I'll go get the trailer. All right, so before I back this thing back up into the water, let me show you guys what's going on here. We uh, added that little piece right there because most of the stuff, or that one was ripped off. Huge kink right there. The whole trailer from that point on right there is bent a little bit over that way. So we haven't decided what we're gonna do yet. Hopefully we can maybe find one or try to repair this, but let's go ahead and load that boat up. All right. Oh. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Oh, you're good, dude. You're good. Sure. Yeah, you're good. Let me just try to push it. Back out a bit? No, no, you're good. I, I think I could push it over a little bit and then you're gonna gas it. Give me one second. All right, go ahead and start gassing it. Is it on the trailer pretty good? Yeah, it's straight right there. This is a, another sketchy issue right here. Make sure it touches. All right, come on. Slow down. Real nice and easy. Yes sir, right there. Probably one of the sketchiest dockings ever. Experiences ever yeah, right there. The river, it's like as soon as as soon as you get past like halfway in the dock, it stops the, the current stops. Yeah. So it's like sideways, sideways, and then the current stops and then the boat is just like, you gotta think fast, so super sketchy but we managed to get it back on now i think that was a successful day out on the water yes, i gotta sir. say no problems running smooth we're probably just a little bit paranoid on all the noises and stuff because this is our first boat so it's crazy experience it's a lot of fun so right now let's head back to the house all right so now that we're back from the river and we know this thing runs absolutely amazing dude it was a blast out there now we started ordering a few things to probably get this thing looking brand new uh, we got the wake tower on the way we got some interior parts on the way what else did we get speakers yeah we got some speakers we got a lot of stuff but one of our main things is we're actually getting 
uh, nice wrap design yeah, for this Oh yeah, this I forgot boat. about that wrap. We are actually gonna do some sort of custom wrap for this thing. We're not gonna tell them what. We're not gonna what. tell you just yet. So stay tuned for that boat. Guys, our plan is to make this thing look like one of those modern ski boats. That way it just pops for like under, uh, what do you think, under 10 grand probably? Yeah, under 10 grand, we're gonna try to make this thing look like one of them $40,000, $50,000 boat. Yeah. This thing is absolute beast, runs good. Yes, and sir. let's just get this thing. I mean, the sides are not that great. As you can see, there's a ton of scratches on the side. Yeah, but that's not our concern. Everything on the boat can actually be fixed besides the trailer down here. The trailer is gonna be a really tough one. As you know, this trailer is twisted and bent. It's gonna be nearly impossible to fix it. But we were searching Facebook Marketplace and coincidentally, there's another Mariah boat that's wrecked up front and it has a good trailer. That's what we're looking for. Uh, trailers usually run for around three grand, but this is like 1800 bucks for a wrecked boat and Yeah, a it's probably gonna be more expensive than the boat that we got off the auction, but we're gonna try to uh, get get this guy down to yeah, $1,000. Yeah, $1,000 is probably gonna be the best price for that, for that trailer, but trailers are pretty pricey. Yeah. And if it's the exact length and everything, we're good. I don't know what we're gonna do with the boat because we're, gonna sink it. we're, yeah, <laughs> we're gonna show you guys how bad it is. But right now, let's go ahead, grab the truck and head that way. Shoot. We totally forgot to measure our boat up, but this boat does look a little bit shorter, don't it? Yeah, it's a little shorter boat. It's a 19 footer. The trailer is definitely probably like two foot shorter. So we don't want to pull anything right now. Don't want to give no price because we're actually going to run back to the house. Do like, I took a bunch of pictures. We took some measurements with the measuring tapes. Now we're going to go back to the house, double check everything, measure it twice because if it's just a little bit off, not a big deal because we can do some adjustments yeah. on there. We can modify the front end where that, uh, whatever you call it, that little thing that you, you strap in or whatever. Yeah. We can cut it and we can maneuver it up a feet. So a one foot, a feet. <laughs> Give us one more foot. So let's go back to the house and do a quick measurement and then we'll head right back if we have to. Alrighty guys, so we just made it back, did a few measurements and we found out that that boat that we went to look at is a little bit shorter along with that trailer. It's not gonna work without doing a bunch of modifications, but we're not too worried about this trailer. We're either gonna fix it or we're just gonna keep an eye out on a new one. We're more focused on getting this boat fixed and we got a lot of plans for it, but guys, we wanna know your opinion. What do you think we should do to it? Should we redo the interior? Should we do something performance-wise? Maybe the engine, the propeller here. Let us know, you boat guys out there. Drop your comments down below. So I hope you guys are enjoying this Rebuilding a Wreck Boat series as much as we are. We're gonna have a ton of fun with it and we wanna take you guys right along the journey. Since we did get this boat for super cheap, we do got a couple thousand dollars to spend. As usual with every boat, you guys know how it goes, but we're gonna make this thing absolutely crazy, so be sure to leave your opinions down below. So with that being said, guys, be sure to stay tuned. Turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on anything. Also guys, be sure to follow us on Instagram at Goon Squad where you can get an inside scoop there before YouTube. And if you wanna support your boys, be sure to visit GoonSquad.com and copy some merch. Thank you guys for all the love and support. Be sure to stay tuned and we'll catch you next time. Peace. Peace.